<laughs> How's everybody doing? Okay, today we're going to begin with Mars in Libra. Cardinal air with the infusive, fiery nature of Mars. Aries, or it's called in Latin, Aries. You know, Aries, the god of war. Let's begin with a couple of announcements first. Okay, with my Tito Rodriguez, de Guaracha, para, pa, <laughs> my drink, my spliff, <laughs> and of course, you know, my notes, you know, as we now begin to talk about our cardinal um, air, Venus, I mean Mars, and Libra, and of course, we are going to go esoteric as well as exoteric, okay? Understand that Mars is located over, okay, I was, I'm, I'm so, I, I'm so ready to jump right in. <laughs> so, understand that, um, okay, let me give a couple of announcements. Thank you so much for your donations. I had no idea that the PayPal, when you send donations, regardless of the money that you send, your names are ascribed to them. I did not know that. So I'm going to give credit to everybody who has been donating. Someone I read, and I charged them $200, and they took the money back, and they rescinded my account. It's negative 200 So my money that you send me, I'm not getting it. It's being eaten by the bank because this person did this. So I would like abundance of infusions of donations to eat that up. Please do that for me as I will run through the series of Mars in Libra, Mars in Scorpio, and Mars in Sagittarius, part 1 and 2 and 3. I'm going to do all of that between 3 to the a.m. today and 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock in the morning, okay? So I would like to have at least $400 infused in my cup. With all of my subscribers, I'm requesting that because this person did this and is now blocking my money. And, and I don't know if the person did this on purpose or intentionally or what happened, but when you make a lot of money, you have money problems. So please do this. I will be going to Dubai on the 29th of September. I will be celebrating my birthday, which is on the 19th. But I will also be hosting a conference, another AstroCon. The AstroCon I did in my own backyard, in my garden in New York City was a success. So now my manager, Corinne De Green, managed to create the same scenario in Dubai. And I shall be there. And if you guys are traveling with me and, you, and if you guys are part of my travel group, I will meet you in Dubai on the 29th of September. Okay. Now, having said that, oh, by the way, for those of you, for those of you who would like to help me get, me get me out of this bind, my PayPal link is www.paypal.me slash the people's astrologer, all in one word. I love you. And of course, I'm going to get an international line because I didn't realize that because I didn't have an, an international line, I couldn't get clients from Europe, from the UK, or from everywhere else, from Panama. So for those of my subscribers that are outside of the United States, know that tomorrow, depending on how much donations I get, I will go and I will purchase an international line so you guys can reach me from outside the United States. Okay? I do that for you. I will have that for you done in the morning once I get those those, those monies in for me to be able to do that because of the, you know this glitch. You know, people can be haters and can can fuck you and trip you up in all kinds of way. But my focus is to do my videos and my staff and you guys. Handle the rest. You carry me, the king, and I shall always be your king as long as you carry me. <laughs> okay, now Mars in Libra. Let's jump right in. Let's begin with Mars in Libra and dealing with the human female. But before I do that, you know. I gotta re up. Uh, 
thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience. You know, I have been, you know, doing a lot of work, you know. I'm doing another show. I wrote a new play to do for uh, the theater, which, you know, the theater season has begun. It begins in October in, in New York, Broadway, off-Broadway. So I've been uh, called to write a few plays for the season. So I don't know. I might I might write a few while I'm in Dubai, you know, and then um, produce, you know, you know, you all know how I do, you know what I do. I don't know, it depends, because I, I got so much to do with the school, running with the school. But uh, enough of that. Let me jump right in. We have a lot to cover. And let me put my Tito Rodriguez song, which is perfect for this combination of Mars and Libra. Cardinal Air. Okay, let's jump right in. Let's jump right in. If you were born as a woman with Mars and Libra, understand, let me just give you a little overview. Understand that Mars rules Aries, the god of war. Wait, wait, wait. Could you bring it down a little bit? The god of war. So, as being the god of war, he is tempestuous, bombastic, arrogant. The classical ruler is Scorpio. So, understand that the Mars of energy, the, the energy of Mars, is not going to be pleasant and nice. You have to understand that the most hated of all the gods was Ares, because he loves war. Hence, my red drink attributed to Ares. I have a moon in Aries, and I don't mind hostile environments, which is why I thrive in the military. We can handle shit. We can handle shit. Okay? Oh, oh, come on now. I don't know. Can you see me right? You know, cause, you know, you know me. The, the, the Leo in me. I got to make sure I look right. <laughs> okay. Understand that uh, Mars is in its dignity, ruling Aries. It's in its exaltation in Capricorn. It's in its fall in Cancer. And it's in its detriment in Libra. It's opposite. God. I'm sorry. Again, I love being Latin. Oh, it's such a sensuous culture. Um, thank, thank God my soul decided to incarnate, like I say, in this sensuous, high-paced culture. <laughs> okay. Understand that with Mars in detriment, in detriment, in Libra, Libra ain't going to be functioning all that good. You all heard me say that there are four types of Libra women, right? The intellectualist or the conversationalist, okay? The damsel in distress, and butch. Butch. This one embodies par excellence Mars in Libra. So, understand. Let's jump right in. With Mars in Libra, this woman are attracted to men with an understated charm, good manners, and a pleasing, balanced appearance. Men who are, that like, have like, you know, the, the six abs, or six, six pack, or eight pack, symmetrical, arms, shoulders, 
broad, you no know, legs and thighs, you know, hamstrings that can like a grasshopper, you know, um, men who are symmetrically beautiful, culturally aesthetic, and societally refined. And these men are pretty boys. Okay? We know with the with the cleft and the dimples, you know those cute, cute boys? Mars in Libra. So when we're dealing with a human female and with Mars in this position of Libra, a okay, cardinal air, and the most important of all the cardinal signs, besides Capricorn. Because Capricorn is number one. But in esoteric astrology, it is Libra that's number one. Hail to the cardinal sign of Libra. And I give Libra a hard I give Libra a hard time. I do. Because I want Libra to know how important he and she is in the grand scheme of things. Now, women with Mars and Libra, they love men like that. They love men like this. Men that I just described. Okay? Coarseness and rudeness is a turn off. And I'm Libra rising. We don't like ugliness of any kind. And 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 coarse behavior and rudeness. Okay? So these women and men with a strong Libra ascent in the birth chart, like myself and many other people that I know, um, we appreciate women and men born with Mars and Libra. Classy. If I'm going to go out with a woman and I got Mars and Libra, the woman has to be classy. She has to be classy. No coldness or rudeness. I might like it underneath the sheets, but not outside. You have to have all the Libra trappings, the nice flowers, the nice, you know, the nice champagne glasses, you know, the right atmosphere, the right clothes, the right bow tie, one ring instead of all ten fingers. One ring, very understated, an expensive jacket. The woman has a wonderful gown with a mint stole or shawl. Understated costume jewelry of the highest kind, if not actual beauty of diamonds and gold. This is the beauty and opulence of Cardinal Libra, particularly Mars and Venus in Libra. Oh, I'm loving you. I'm having so much fun. I, I, I'm hard on Libra, but I love Libra. Libra is classy, it's beautiful, it's culturally refined, educated, and posh. Mars in Libra. So, ideally, this sounds lovely. It sounds lovely. You know, Libra is ruled by Venus. And it's always in opposition to Mars. So, I would say all of that. Let's get down and roll out. Let's roll out sleep. And let's get down to it. Let's get down to the motherfucking nitty gritty. Is this relationship healthy? Is, what is, what's the bad side of Libra? Of Mars and Libra? What's the bad side? I'm saying so much about the good aspect of Mars and Libra.
But actually, I really didn't. I really didn't. <laughs> I, I really didn't. I told you the cardinal archetype of Libra. Okay? The cardinal archetype of Libra. But understand, understand that, how can I put this? How can I put this? How can I put this into words that could be understood? The words don't come to mind to me. They don't come to mind to me. So I'm going to proceed and move on. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. Because the words are not reaching my faculties to disseminate what I have to say. So, let's put a pause into that. The Mars in Libra woman is a woman that loves her men to be beautiful. She don't like them rugged. She don't like them rustic. But understand that Mars rules rustic, raunchy men. Men who are mechanics. The guy that the box of cigarettes rolled up on the sleeve and they're always holding and grabbing their crotch, you know? And wear tight pants with a tight crotch to show how big they are. You know, especially the construction workers, you know. Men who with, uh, with broken t-shirts and hairy armpits, you know. You know, the sensual men. Women, the, the modest liberal women love men like that. But on the sneak tip, <laughs> oh, like Miss Virgo, Libra woman, she loves the rugged, nitty gritty. The man that pulls her hair, slaps her, and and, and puts his dick down her throat. I mean, okay, I got it. I I, I try to, but come on, let me tell it. Let me tell it. Let me tell it. Mars and Libra. So, understand that Mars is the penetrator, the rapist. The sexual energy of Mars is constant. Mars was the, classic, was the classical co-ruler of Scorpio before Pluto was discovered in 1930. Okay? You let, let, don't let me tell it. Don't let me tell it. <laughs> Ooh, Mars in Libra. My archons are on fire. They're like, like, they're like, they're like spitting. They're like, oh yes, you know, because they think that I'm kind of like hard on Libra. So they want me to go and exalt Libra. But I'm a Libra rising. I'm a lot more Libra than I, I do Virgo. I love Libra. I just don't like that phony shit, you know. But that's all of us have our dark shadow side. So this is not dumping on Libra, you know. It's just that, you know, because of my rising sign is Libra, I understand all too well the shadow of Libra. That which is rarely exposed to the public. But I'm going to keep those secrets with me. I haven't reve revealed all the secrets of Libra, especially the dark side. Yo, yo, you, you come hard on me. You come hard on me. When I when I Libras, they come out of the woodwork and they, they they really hit me. They come hard on me. But I'm that nigga because they are come hard on me because I'm gonna come right hard right back at ya. But understand that um within those of the more lower evolved Librans who still have to evolve. And, and then the age, you know, below age 30 has a lot to do with that. Hopefully we can see a sense of balance and evolution, you know, which is important for Libra to obtain because if Libra doesn't have that form of evolution, then God, God help us all. God help us. <laughs> Scorpio will be in control and be destroying with no balance of harmony without Libra. So we got to deal with whatever we can get. 
Okay? And I say that because it's still in sync with the personality and ego dynamics of the person, the woman particularly, born with Mars and Libra. Okay? These women prefer men who are independent. These women prefer men who are cooperative, who are willing to please. Romantic, antithetical men are a huge turn on to these women. Men who are dramatic, who rip their shoulder, I love you! Oh my God, these women will be already juiced up. Okay? Oh my God, especially if he's pretty and looking at... The, the Mars and Libra women love pretty boys. But they can also, they're paradoxical because Mars doesn't rule pretty boys. Venus rules pretty boys. Mars rules rugged. Rugged men who grow the crouch and like, you know, rugged men that can fuck and, 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 and pull your hair and slap your leg and have no mercy on your pussy or on your ass. Pardon the French. So the Libra, Mars, and Libra woman can be quite paradoxical in her sexual desires and interests. And that's going to color the type of man that it's going to pull her attention. Understand that? And if you think I'm going deep, we still got part two and three, and part three is an hour, and it gets deeper. Deeper, deep, 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 deeper, deep, 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 deeper. It gets deeper than this. Wait until we get into Mars and Scorpio. Oh my God. I don't know if I might be able to survive doing that video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um understand that, you know, there's a lot going on here. Like Marvin Gaye was saying his songs was going on. <laughs> What's going on? So understand that the 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 Mars and Libra woman is paradoxical. What did I, then I tell you that human ego and personality reaches the highest level of complexity when it reaches Libra, all the way onto the other signs. What you see is not often what you get, and what you get doesn't always, doesn't always become the pattern of what you get. What you get every time might be different than what you thought what you might get. Like Libra. Well, like Scorpio, is paradoxical. Where do you think Scorpio gets its paradoxical behavior and quixotic behavior? It begins with Mars in Libra. Oh, that Tito Rodriguez song is just screaming, like screaming. I just, I'm going to go out to Copacabana and start dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Libra, so I gotta talk about the refinement and the classiness, you know, body blah. I'm gone, and, and I got no more liquor, <laughs> but I got my spirit. Okay, so understand that now, having said that, now we can go into other aspects going deeper into the layer of Mars and Libra. Okay, uh... The Libra female is warm and womanly. She is. She's warm and womanly. But she can also be butch. 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 <laughs> okay, that was theatrical. Okay, that was theatrical. <laughs> okay. Uh, but she's artistic and elegant. Now, remember, like attracts like. She also wants her. She also wants her men to also be like that. She likes them to have a little bit of a feminine bent to them. The the Mars and Libra woman like men that are, have a slightly feminine essence to them. Remember the butch, the man in her. She's the type of woman that will put on. She will throw up on a dildo and fuck a man. Yes, Mars. And Libra. <laughs> I 
I have not gotten started on Mars and Libra. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't continue. I'm past 27 minutes. We're done with part one. 